Hey everyone, this is a comparison that a lot of you want to see. The best from Sony, the Sony Xperia XZ. Again, it's best from Google, Google Pixel XL. So let's get started by powering both these phones on. Now the Google Pixel is the first phone in the world on the Android N7.1. Both these phones just came out within the last few weeks. And we'll say both these phones so far are doing excellent all the speed tests I put them through. Uh, the Xperia is still on Marshmallow once it's up here to end. I'll provide an update video. So I do expect the Pixel to um, win the boot up test. We'll see though. Alright, yeah, so Pixel first one up. Alright, so we're going to head on over to App Page. Make sure everything's closed out. We're good. And Xperia's up as well. Alright everyone, so we got a lot planned for this video. We're going to be doing app opening, game opening, web browsing, uh, fingerprint scanner, multitasking, camera speed, and more. Alright, so first up is Jump Run 2. And actually I'll put the brightness up a little bit on the Xperia, kind of hard to see that. But you see here... Pixel first one brought up the game. Alright, we'll check out some more. CNN next. And this one of those slow loading apps to see if it works this time. Sometimes the app doesn't load, but I'll give it a few more seconds. All right, so first up here on Xperia. And up on Google as well. Hi, funny. All right, so first there on Xperia. YouTube. All right, so first they're on Pixel. Oops, calculator next. Clock. Those two apps, pretty similar. Uh, next up, eBay. All right, so first one was the Xperia there. Asphalt 8. And these are actually different versions of the game. Uh, all the other apps are on the same, both Asphalt 8. It's like every single week they have you download one gigabyte file. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So you have to press on here. It's kind of like a false loading screen. It's Still takes a few seconds to actually load up. All right, and for some reason it'll say no connection, but as you guys see, there is a Wi-Fi connection there. So let me try it again. Let me try loading it up. All right, well let's move on to some other stuff. Um, next up is photos. So pixel here. ESPN. This is along with CNN, one of the really slow loading apps, see if it works. All right, so again, first here on the Sony. And all right, so next up is settings. First there on Pixel. As, uh, rather, here's an intuitive benchmark I ran. So a score of 144,640 on the Xperia. 
and one forty thousand on the uh, one forty thousand six ten on Google. All right, so we're gonna do some more stuff. Let's look at we'll do camera speed next. So in terms of cameras, the Xperia phone uh, has rear facing twenty three megapixel versus rear facing twelve on the uh, Pixel. You guys can check out the camera comparison on my channel if you want. Do some videos. Actually, I don't yet, but I will be uploading them really soon. So you see here, Pixel is faster taking pictures. Although, again, it's 12 megapixels versus 23. Both these are currently on the max. All right, so let's look at some more stuff. Um, we'll do... We'll do Chrome next. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, some websites we have not been to yet. Let's go to some college websites. So we're gonna go to Rutgers. All right, that was pretty close, both really fast. Um, let's stick with that theme. Let's go to University of South Florida. All right, so fast there on the Xperia phone. And I will say I did do a practice test and uh, the Pixel was doing a little bit better than it's doing in this one. Um, let's do one more. Let's do, let's do Central Florida. All right, so again, really fast on both. We'll do another one. Um, Notre Dame. Again, these are all websites I've not been to yet. So really fast on both, maybe a tiny bit faster on the Pixel. All right, so next up, let's have a look at the fingerprint scanners on the phones. So for the Xperia phone, Look at here on the side, and this is United States version. I actually haven't flashed my phone yet. Uh, because the United States version, you need to flash the UK firmware if you actually want access to the fingerprint scanner. Pretty dumb, but that's just the way it is. I think it's a pattern issue. Um, but again, it is on the side here, so I haven't activated that, but I'll show you it on the Google at least. So let's look at here on the back. Not a big fan of the placement, although it is really fast and very accurate. All right, I'm last, let's have a look at the um, multitasking for both phones. All right, so let's bring up some, start with CNN. All right, so clearly fast there on the Google. Bring up Intuito. About the same. Uh, let's bring up Tempronto. All right, so it looks like it's going to restart the game for both of them. And as we saw previously, this does load faster on Google. So yeah, I think from my experience so far, the Google does load games faster. Also, some of the system settings are faster on Google. Uh, let's do iFunny. All right, it's so faster there on Xperia. Let's go back to YouTube. 
that's there on pixel. Uh, let's do eBay. Photos. Yeah, we'll fast on Google. I think looks like the multitasking may be a little bit better on the Pixel. So the Xperia is winning a couple of these. Let's do a couple more. Uh, let's do... ESPN. Yeah, so faster on the Pixel. Looks to be uh, a little bit better multitasking for the Pixel. And again, guys, we'll be doing an update video once um, once uh, the Xperia phone gets Android N. So it's going over some more of the specs between the two phones, and I'll show you guys some of the design. So rear-facing camera, 12 megapixels on the Pixel uh, 23 on the Xperia. Front-facing camera on the Pixel 8 versus 13 on the Xperia. That, the camera's actually both made by Sony. Um, in terms of internal storage, so the Xperia does have micro SD card support, either 32 or 64 gigabytes. The Pixel, no micro SD card support, uh, either 32 or 128. Um, in terms of battery, Xperia 2900 capacity, 3450 for the Pixel. Uh, again, the Pixel does have Snapdragon 821. Xperia has Snapdragon 820. Pixel also has an extra gigabyte RAM, 4 versus 3. Xperia does have stereo speakers and waterproofing, the Pixel is not. Um, both, of course, have fingerprint scanners, both do have USB-C at the bottom. And the Pixel also more expensive, so starting around 769 and that's for the 32 gigabyte model. So if you want to upgrade the storage and it costs you a little bit extra, uh, there's no micro SD card support. Xperia starting around 650 um, and again, Marshmallow for Xperia, Android N for Pixel. So let's have a look at the design last. And you see the pixel kind of like uh, metal and glass. And the Xperia mostly metal. All right, everyone. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like this in the future. And thanks again for watching.